This will be their first dance together as husband and wife. Now, they have chosen a very special song for this dance because it is from, a, from one of their most favorite artists, and that, of course, is Mark Wills. The song is called Like There's No Yesterday. Dance like you've never been hurt, like you've never been sad, baby. Dance like this beautiful moment is all that... Hold on, folks, I'm sorry. All right. Well, we do have a keyboardist, so we're going to do a live version, if you don't mind. You're good? Okay. Thank you. I'm originally from a little town in North Georgia, a place called Blue Ridge, Georgia, which is right on the Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina lines. Like this beautiful moment is all that you have. Don't be afraid, all your waiting is over. Just look in my eyes and not over your shoulder. Hey, I'm Mark Wills. I'm a country music entertainer. And uh, up until March of 2020, I travel the world and sing country music. It's like there's no yesterday. If you've been lost, born and raised in Blue Ridge, Georgia, moved down to the Atlanta area when I was, uh, I don't know, about eight or nine. Uh, and have lived in Atlanta pretty much uh, the rest of the time, aside from traveling back and forth to Nashville and, and uh, being on a tour bus for the last 25 years of my life. You know, from the time I was probably about seven years old, um, I loved music. And, I, and I, probably before I was seven, but I can remember being seven, eight years old and, uh, and really loving great music like Ronnie Millsap, uh, you know, Alabama, uh, I mean, you name that great 80s, 70s, 80s country. Uh, and I decided at a pretty young age that when the opportunity arose, I was going to do my very best and try to become a country music singer. With a picture of the ocean and the beach. And you know, I don't know that I ever really faced a lot of adversity in the, in the music industry. I mean, I think for, for me, it was more about uh, just sort of finding my niche, doing what I like to do. I love to sing great story songs. I love to tell stories in my music. And, uh, and I came along in the early 90s, mid 90s, uh, when great story songs were, were prevalent in our format. And, uh, and so I started singing demos. Uh, so I was finding great songs that way. And uh, then recorded my first record in 1995, made our first single in 1996. And, We've been out on the road doing it ever since. You know, throughout my career, um, you know, I, I attained a lot of the things that I wanted to as a child. I, I had a gold record. I had a platinum record. I had number one songs. Um, you know, I received tens of thousands of letters from, from fans and, and music fans about how my songs uh, affected their life. But probably my, my proudest moment was uh, in January of 2019, becoming the 218th member of the Grand Ole Opry. That probably, out of every other accomplishment that I have ever achieved, was, uh, was my proudest moment. 2002, I, I got asked to go to Iraq and Afghanistan, and, uh, and I couldn't make that trip because my wife and I were expecting our second daughter, uh, who was born January 2nd of 2003. Um, I didn't want to miss that opportunity to, to become a dad for the second time, so I didn't go in 2002. Uh, 2003, the end of 2003, I made the first of probably 12 to 14 trips, depending on you know USO affiliation versus different groups, different organizations, 
uh, trips to entertain our troops in Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, Uzbekistan, uh, different places like that in the Middle East. Probably uh, out of all the shows that I've ever done throughout my life, those were some of the most rewarding because uh, we were there to entertain our men and women of our armed services during uh, you know that that break between Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. That was, uh, was some of my some of my very favorite moments that I ever had on stage. COVID has been a uh, it's been a it's been a curse, but it's also been a blessing uh, for me. You know, for for me traveling for the last 25 years, I have missed so much time uh, with my kids. I've missed so much of their youth, so much of, of all the things that, you know, that, that parents miss out on. Uh, and so I've got to spend the last 11 months with my wife and with my 22 year old who just got married and with my 18 year old, you know, uh, we've really, we've enjoyed this time. I mean, it's, 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 it's had its negative moments, you know, not making a living, uh, but at the same time, it's had its extreme blessings of getting to share uh, every night around the dinner table, uh, getting to spend, you know, evenings watching television shows or, or go on little trips uh, that we've always wanted to take that we never had the opportunity to do. You know, for anybody out there that wants to be in the music business, I would just tell them to to develop their craft. I mean, you know, just like any other job, you have to you have to develop your craft. You have to know what you're doing. But in the music industry in particular, I think you have to really be true to yourself. Uh, you have to know who you are. You have to know what you want to say. You have to uh, to pick the right music and and really stand behind that because in today's world, you know, there's. There's so many different directions that, that the business wants to take you. Uh, I, would, I would highly recommend um, spending that time uh, self-reflecting, knowing who you are, and then making sure that that's what you put on, uh, you know, on CD or, or put on the cloud for people to hear because that's what they're, that's what they're gonna expect to see from you. You know, I, I don't know what the future holds. I mean, we've, we've made a new album. Um, we have spent the last you know, year, uh, basically waiting for COVID to be over, waiting for our lives to get back to normal. You know, that's that's allowed me to do a lot of things to, to sort of create some new paths uh, for my career to go down. And I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm anxious to, to get back out and get back to work because um, I think 2021 and beyond could hold some really great things in store for, for me and my career. When you think about um, the literally hundreds of thousands of people who have went in and had the dream of being a country music singer and, uh, and, and going into the studio and recording that record and then traveling around and playing bars or even playing bigger shows. I mean, you know, to be in that small group of 218 people from the, from the beginning of the Grand Ole Opry, uh, celebrating its 95th birthday this year, to, uh, to, to being one of those members, it's, it's hard to put into words what that means to you. I mean, it is, it is, it's, a, it's a great accolade, it's a great accomplishment, but, but more importantly than that, the Opry is a family. I mean, we truly love and protect and defend each other like a family. Uh, and so to, to be a member of that family, there's, to me there's no greater family in all of country music. I mean, I would love to one day be a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame and, uh, you know, and, and, and things like that. But if I never reached that goal, I reached the goal that, that I aspired to before any of that. And that was to sing on the Grand Ole Opry and to be a member of the Grand Ole Opry. Focal one, ready, nine line. Type two control by Misty, three one. One, three, three, and eight. Two, five feet. 